question. The member from Newmarket, Aurora. Speaker, my, uh, my question is to the Premier. Speaker, I'm appealing to the Premier this morning to bring in line his government house leader who has motions before him from this legislature as well as from the Public Accounts Committee requesting additional time and flexibility so that we can get to the bottom of the orange scandal. We now, we now have no hearings for this coming week because the government's refused to allow us to have them. We have two more days of hearings, Speaker, before the summer break. We specifically requested to be allowed to sit into the summer. Dr. Chris Mazza has yet to testify. This morning we heard Question. that Ruth Hawkins, a senior person within the Ministry of Health, has a great deal of information. We need Thank the additional you. time. Will the Premier agree to give us Thank that you. time? Premier. Speaker, the Minister of Health. Minister of Health. Uh, Speaker, um, I've been following the, uh, the uh, committee hearings on Orange carefully, of course, and I'm very pleased that so many people have uh, have participated in a meaningful way at those hearings. Speaker, I myself was very happy to be there for two and a half hours, uh, about an hour and a half longer than I was asked to attend. Speaker, there is important uh, work that is being done at that committee, and if the member opposite wants to conduct the hearings here on the floor of the legislature, I tell you, I would like to know more about a $7,000 invoice that Kelly Mitchell, a top Tory insider, expensed to prepare a strategy for engaging the Ontario PC Party Speaker. I'd like to know more about the Answer. work that he did with Lynn Golding, a top Conservative lawyer, Perry Martin, a top Tory lobbyist. Thank you. The opposition. Speaker, there are questions that need answered, and we're happy that the committee is meeting. Supplementary. That's really sad, Jeff. Speaker, I can't even believe what I just heard from the mouth of this Minister of Health. Serious issue. Two people died this past week. Ambulance services couldn't respond to a call. There are serious issues at Orange Ambulance, and this minister has the gall to stand up and talk about a consulting agreement that someone received from Orange. Minister, I'm going to ask you directly, will you stand in your place, stand with us, help us get to the bottom of the issue that you should be at the bottom of. Give us the additional time, give us the hearings, so that we can restore confidence in our own service. Please stand please. Thank you. Minister of Health. Uh, Speaker, I can, uh, I can assure you that the changes that have been made at Orange and the changes that continue to be made at Orange are not waiting for any process that the member opposite wants to, uh, wants to champion. Well, they've been busy ringing the bell, Speaker, we've been busy fixing the problems at Orange. We Member from Prince Edward Hastings, come to order. We have a new performance agreement, a much stronger performance agreement, and we have legislation North before Thumberland, this House. Quinty West, come to order. I would very much like to get past, Speaker. This is legislation that entrenches in law the oversight and transparency that we all agree we need at Orange. I'm asking the member opposite to stop ringing the bells and let's get this work done. Thank you. New question. 